All right, now that we've set up LM Studio, got our model, activated the developer section, and have N8N running locally, we're going to link the model, in this case DeepSeek R1, to our N8N. To do this, we'll go to ChatGPT, okay? We'll create a ChatGPT node, whichever you prefer, ideally one for messaging a model. Select it, then go to Credential and create new credential. In the API key field, you can enter whatever you want. I've used random numbers for org ID. This is all optional. Now let's add the base underscore URL. Got it? To do this, we'll head over to LM Studio's developer section. When we run our server, it'll give us a URL, like localhost. We'll then replace the OpenAI API link with this new one, okay? We'll hit save. The credentials have been saved successfully, all right? Now we need to select a model from the list. We'll click this drop down and our model from LM Studio should appear. Important note, I've used localhost 1234, even though N8N uses 5678. For some reason, the latter didn't work. So I decided to use HTTP. And where's this number? You can find it right here, okay? See it? 127.0.0.1234. Just hit save and it'll connect. Remember, the connection isn't related to memory, got it? Look. Even if you've mistakenly chosen a much more powerful model than needed, that's not really relevant when it comes to establishing a connection, okay? Let me explain this right away. Now we'd basically select a model, let me see if I can... By the way, I forgot to mention that if you're using Docker to host N8N, you'll need to use this, host.docker.internal, okay? This way, the connection between LM Studio and N8N link via Docker won't collapse, all right? You'll be using an internal connection, got it? Okay, so you can see I, I've already created an input message, which is simply hi, all right? I've written hi here and it's already loading. As you can see, it's been loading for quite a while, 1 minute 36. This is a 5 gig model. And just so you know, what I've done is connected by ID, okay? If I connected from the list, it didn't show up, so I just connected it by ID. Where's the ID? Well, it's simple. The ID is in the LM Studio console. When it starts, it shows DeepSeek ID and gives us the ID, okay? So I'm going to finish waiting, all right? But as you can see, it's running, yeah? I'll wait to see how long it takes to respond to hello. This depends on your computer's power, whether it's fast or slow. The model might crash if the query gets too complex, okay? Let's wait and see what happens. Look, I got an error here. The server crashed, okay? But that's normal. I'll select a LIDAR model now. You'll see it can work. In the end, I wrote to Google's Gemma model and it output hi, okay? It says, say hi, role, assistant, content. Let's tackle this, ready, and so on. These billion parameter models aren't very useful, but it's just to show you. So that's how it worked. I hope you enjoyed it.